All the stuff in the universe can be grouped into one of two categories. Stuff is either matter, or it is energy. We've already learned that matter and energy are related to each other in the mass energy equivalence, which was shown by Albert Einstein in his equation E equals mc squared. For now we're going to forget about energy, and we're just going to focus on matter. Remember that matter is anything that has mass and takes up space, or in other words, has volume. This is a very broad definition, so let's break it down so we can better understand the different types of matter. One way that we can categorize matter is based on its purity. Most of the matter in the universe is found in a mixture. And a very small amount of matter in the universe is found as a pure substance. A mixture is a system of matter that is made up of two or more different substances, or types of matter. A great example of a mixture is a pizza. The different substances of the pizza are physically combined together, rather than chemically combined, which is a more permanent combination. In most mixtures, you can pretty easily separate the different substances. A pure substance, on the other hand, is only made up of one substance, or in other words, only one type of matter. You can't break it down into any different types of matter. An example of a pure substance is aluminum foil. If you started to tear apart or break down the aluminum foil, it's still going to be aluminum. And so it's a pure substance because it's only made up of one substance or only one type of matter. Let's focus in on mixtures for a moment. There are two categories of mixtures. The first type of mixture is a mixture where you cannot see the different parts of the mixture. We call this type of mixture a homogeneous mixture. The root word homo means same, and so these mixtures appear to be the same throughout the mixture. You can't see the different parts of the mixture. A good example of a homogeneous mixture is a glass of tap water. Tap water has many different substances that are dissolved in it. However, the glass of tap water appears to be perfectly clear. It's a homogeneous mixture. The other type of mixture is a type of mixture where you can actually see the different parts of the mixture. We call these types of mixtures heterogeneous mixtures. The root word hetero means different, and so these mixtures look different throughout the mixture. An example of a heterogeneous mixture is that slice of pizza. As you can see, we can see the different parts on this pizza. We can see the cheese, the pepperoni, the green peppers, and the crust. And so this is a heterogeneous mixture. Let's now take a look at pure substances. A pure substance can also be separated into two categories. To understand these categories, we must think smaller, much smaller. The first type of pure substance is called an element, and the second type of pure substance is called a compound. Both elements and compounds are considered to be pure substances because we cannot break them down any further into any other types of matter. An element is the simplest form of matter that cannot be broken into any other types of matter with physical or chemical means. You may also know these as atoms. And you may have seen a big list of atoms on your, in your chemistry class on the periodic table of elements. Each square on the periodic table represents a specific element, and that element in the simplest form is a single atom. Each atom and thus each element on the periodic table are different from each other. A compound, on the other hand, is actually a combination of elements, and these elements are combined in fixed ratios. You may also know these as molecules. Here's a molecule that represents what scientists believe water looks like. We could see that we have a fixed ratio of elements. These white atoms right here represent hydrogen atoms, and this red atom represents an oxygen atom. You may also know the formula for water to be H2O. Water molecules always have the same formula, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom.